What's up, guys? What's up, y'all? <laughs> so today we're going to show y'all step by step on how we got pregnant. Yes. So we have a different couple different things to yeah. show y'all what we use. We couldn't find a clear like vagina, <laughs> so we had to go to the adult store and get this little pocket yeah. vagina that men get. a pocket pee. A pocket pee. I call it pee, pocket pee because <laughs> so I don't crazy. like. I don't like the P word, so I'm gonna say yeah. pocket P. And any guy that we know that might need this what? thing. Stop flinging it like that. <laughs> you know, this thing is like. They don't. You <laughs> gonna break it for me to demonstrate. So any guy that we know that might need this thing because we bought this for educational purposes. Yes. Holla at me because I'm gonna do the thing once we get it. Yes. You know we can't take it back because it's like it's like it's, it's a sex like toy. It's, yeah, it's a sex toy. You can't return that stuff. That's nasty. You know what I mean? So there we go. Got that. <laughs> Alright, and we first started off using the lube launcher from Amazon. Yeah, but we didn't really like that because it was it, it, it got bubbles in it. It got air bubbles. Yeah, maybe we can demonstrate to you. I don't know if we'll be able to pull oh, up. Oh yeah, we can the show bubbles. you what it looks like. On yeah. There. yeah. Um and then we actually have the one mil syringe that we use and we we can see it with which is very teeny tiny. Yeah. Now that one we got no bubbles. No and we bubbles. was able to pick up all the, the uh Yeah. The 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 donation. Donation, yeah. <laughs> and donation. actually, our last donation was pretty decent. So we, we pulled that up, what, like three times? Three, maybe almost four. Yeah. So, all right, so those are our syringes. And we also have the donation cup. Yeah, the sterile cup. Yeah, make sure it's sterile. It comes in the closed package. Yeah. I yeah. think we got like a five pack of that, or maybe a six pack on like Amazon. That. Yeah. And you Something can like also, that. you can get your donation in this. Or you can get your donation in this. <laughs> Which is a soft cup. Yeah, it's a soft cup. You also want to use this one. You want to also make sure you have this. Yeah, you don't, it's not a necessity. You don't have to use it. It's it's a personal preference, you know. Yeah, we use it. So yeah. this is our way. How we and then we did end up using the pre-seed when we conceived. And I know a lot of people say that it kills sperm. As I'm not claiming that it doesn't. I'm not a scientist. Yeah. I mean, but it, this it is could. what we use. It could, I mean? but I do know. It, uh, our sperm and egg met yeah. <laughs> somehow. So, it worked for us. Yeah. It might not work for y'all, yeah. but we're just showing y'all our process. And then it comes with like a little tube of lube. Well, it's pretty decent sized lube. And then it comes with three of these bags, which is um, three applicators in each one. And they kind of look, they kind of look like a syringe, but not like the syringe tip. It's more of the rounded, as you can see the difference. It's more of the rounded, and this is very, very loose. Um, so basically what you do is, with this, you you'll take the it. cap off, screw this on, you'll actually screw it on, and then, it's got like lines, I don't know if you guys can, yeah, you can see the lines and you can feel it to that. Me, personally, I only filled it to the first one whenever mm -hmm. I did. So you just go like this, and the line will go up, so you see that the top is going to move. So I just did mine to this one, which is the one fourth. That's it, which is only this much inside, which is only, let's see, this much, guys. Yeah, very little. You don't use a you whole tube or nothing. You don't use a whole no. thing full. Just and, a very, very little. And the first day um, we inseminated, I think it was, I put it in 20 minutes prior to insemination and then we did skip that day, and then the next day, I think it was like a half an hour mm -hmm. before insemination. Yeah. So that's with that, and you would basically just once own the vagina. Hold it. You would just like, here, insert it like this. And I was sitting on the toilet when I did it. Yeah. And then you would just push it in like that and just take it back out. Of course, some's gonna come out. Yeah. You can put, um, I put a panty liner in my underwear. Why do you smell it? <laughs> Why do I smell like that? What's in here? <laughs> you can put a panty liner in. Um, Why does that smell like that? That shit is. You put a panty liner I'm sorry. I'm sorry. on your underwear. And then I, um, and then the uh, donor came, waited for, and to do his donation, and then we proceeded from there. Which we're gonna show you what we did from there. Yes. <laughs> also, we also used the toy. We used, what's the thing Oh, called? I forgot or, the rose is up The rose. We ain't gonna bring that down here. Y'all know the what rose. the rose is. Yeah, if y'all know, you rose. know. Because number one, I'll open it. 
Yes, you did. <laughs> Number one, I wasn't using, I wasn't putting my mouth down there with some. For the so donation so in there. It's like. It's from the thing thing. What thing thing? The vagina. I got you it. get it? Okay, I'm going to go to the knife. I had to get to the other side. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so we're going to try to demonstrate to you guys the best we can. So this is a sterile cup. Okay. We're going to... Uh, we're going to use some lotion. We got to use lotion for the cum. Yeah. And hopefully it's watery enough. All right, we'll do that. should be good. You want to say? Might be a little thick. Might be a little thick. Yeah, it kind of looked like that, though. It kind of looks like this. Yeah, stick. It's sitting there. The longer it sits, the more liquid fat it gets. Yeah. But if you do have it sitting there, I mean, we did it right away. Yeah. So. And then you go in there. Should we put it toward the camera yes. while we're doing it? Let's see. I'm going to stand <laughs> up. I'm going to stand up get up in there. So we got it, right? Okay. And then you want to put the syringe in. Get a little closer. There we go. All right. And then so you pull that real slow. You want to do it really, really slow because you don't want to damage the sperm. Yeah. That's cool. So you got it in there. There's no bubbles. Yep, no bubbles. You know what I mean? No I bubbles. <laughs> My bad. No bubbles in there. And then, I'm gonna put it in here because I think this thing needs something in it because it stinks in there. I don't know why it stinks in there. So, go in there. You put it in there, right? Real gently, as deep as you can go. To make sure you're not hurting her and like ask her her comfort level. Yeah, and then you push it in really, 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 really slow. slow. Really, really slow. Just like that. Yeah. So we left it in here for a minute. Yeah, we did leave this syringe in for about Five ten minutes maybe. Yeah. So and I was like this, like my vagina was, was like up. this up. Cause you don't want you want to no, make sure none of the, like this because we're showing you guys. Yeah, but, but you want to make sure your butt is elevated. Yeah. And you want to make sure it's just so none of the sperm like leak, leaks out. Yeah. But at this point, by its end, she had her toy, and was getting herself off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And while she's getting herself off, I'm pulling the rest of the uh, donation into another syringe. Another syringe. Yeah. So we sat here for a minute until, you know what I mean? Everything was in there. Yeah. And then when I took it out, I twisted it real, real slow like this. Yeah. Just to get it all in there. Yeah, because it will stick to the It'll stick to the, stick yeah, to it'll the stick to the syringe. Real, real slow, real gentle. And took it out. Yep, and then I got the rest and did the exact same thing. Yep, and then I laid up like that for about a half hour. No, hours. I think it was an hour. It was an hour. Yeah. Get off again. Yeah. With the syringe. Yep. I mean, not with the syringe, the rose. With the rose, and then after half an hour, I did lay up for an hour, but after half an hour, I um took this and you hold this. Took this and squeeze it like this. Mm hmm. And then, if there, and also if there was anything left from the donation, you get it off. What I would do is, or she would hold it warm to our body so we could liquefy it, and then we would dump the rest of it in there, which would probably be like maybe like a dab, maybe like maybe like that much, whoop, like just a little, little bit. teeny tiny bit. So we also put some of the pre seed around the rim. Oh yeah, we did put the pre seed around the rim, so it was a little bit easier to go in. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. Alright, then we put some around the rim of it. <laughs> Make it little... There's a... Little... No. Sure. And then... <laughs> Pull the camera. I can't see the hole. <laughs> and then you would just... Slide it in. Now, this thing ain't deep enough for it to actually go in oh, there. Pop right back out. <laughs> but you put it in, right? You can sort of slow. Sort of slow. And then normally you push that back. Yeah, up. you would push it. You would get back to where it needs to go, and there's like a bone or something you push it up under, and then it would be in there. Obviously, it's not going to be right deep there at, at your vagina hole. Yeah. So it'd be popping out. But yeah. it goes far back in. It goes in far enough to where your finger goes all the way in, mm -hmm. and then you can push, push it, it up. up. 
Like, I know a lot of so females are afraid to use that yeah. because it'll get lost. You can only it push it back so far. You yeah. have a wall back you, there. Yeah, there's a, uh, the cervix is back there. Yeah, you have, it. well, just, are you pushing it up above, to up the Up on the cervix, yeah. yeah. So it can't go back no further than that. Yeah. And but you push it up. You push it up like this, yeah. and it goes, and it lays It's like, like a bone right the there that it, like, clicks on Oh, there. I'm actually doing, oh, I thought I was doing <laughs> That don't have a bone in there. <laughs> I know, but I'm sad. I feel like, oh, I think I might have, it's lost in there. Stuck. It's gone. <laughs> then lost the thing in there. So, but once you do that, um, and then I laid it for another half an hour. But like I said, it doesn't get lost in there. Like it's, it yeah, it's gonna come so back far. out. Yeah, it goes back so far. You push it up in there, and then when you're ready for it to come out, me personally, um, I think I left mine in until my comfort level. So when it started making me uncomfortable, my stomach started getting a little crampy. Yeah. I would just take it out because, like I said, it's not a necessity to even have it in there. I just wanted to hold the sperm close to my cervix for as, as long, long as, as I can. could. Yeah. And when I got up, when I got up after that hour, once I did put that in there, I did get another orgasm. Mm -hmm. So I got another orgasm once so I put that in. So it was three in. orgasms all together. Yeah. And then I laid there for an hour, but once I got up, something's going to come out. Mm -hmm. It's just, you're standing up, you it's know, gonna stuff's going to come out. And that's the reason why I like to use a soft cup too, that way it don't all come out. Yeah, but there's millions and millions of sperm in there, yeah. so if you lose a little bit, it don't hurt nothing. As long as you try to stay elevated as long as you can, but some yeah. is going to come out. I'm you. sure our little sperm thing done did what it needed to do anyway, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yep, so then that was that. And then I went about my day. So I think at the first time I kept it in for like six hours. Mm -hmm. And then the second time I kept it in for like eight, right? It was on the way home, so yeah, yeah about like eight. eight. Yeah, because we had a seven hour drive. Yeah. And then, like, if you feel a little crampy or whatever, just take just it take out. Just take it out. It's, it's all right. Fine. It's all right. You take yeah. it out. But I want to show y'all, too, like, with these. Oh, the well, this is what we it. first originally started with, with these. Yeah. Now, they got, what's that brand? Mosey? Yeah, the Mosey kit. So, Mosey they're, Mosey. like, the same as these, but they cost, like, they cost dough, right? They cost a lot of money. These was off Amazon. You know how much these were? You remember? Maybe anywhere from, like, 10 to $15. And it's a two-pack. Yeah. But and they're when, reusable. Yeah, but when I did this, right? Like you see the uh, well, it's not strong, but lotion in there, right? <laughs> when you get it out, it's like it leaves a little. It's too much space. Yeah, with the one mil syringe, it, it um, it's like a tighter seal or something. Yeah, it's not as much. Like you can get as much space in there, but you did it real slow, right? Yeah, same process. Yeah, but it like I didn't even grab it all this too. Uh, it's too thick for that. But normally it leaves little bubbles yeah, in there. Yeah, there would so be like um, little air bubbles. Up like in there. Through here, there would be like little air bubbles. So we decided to not use it. Actually, our donor told us to use the smaller syringe. Yeah. Actually, we listened a lot to our donor. He was very, very knowledgeable. Because obviously, uh, we did a knowledgeable. little. Knowledgeable. Yeah, he was very knowledgeable. We did, uh, you know, our research and stuff like that. But with him having so many successes and, um, um, done it to so many different females, he kind of found a, a, a way, method, method yeah. that actually gets females pregnant. So. Yeah. But that was our way we did yeah. things. That's how we got pregnant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Any questions, comments, concerns? Yeah. And I laid up on my head, guys. Like, yeah, she laid up. Like, keep right. Can we her ass. Yeah, we can demonstrate how we, uh... Okay. Pause, pause, guys. Pause. Alright, y'all. So, she had her butt elevated. It was probably higher than It was this. higher than this, but... We just did something real quick, but yeah. lift it up. You want to make sure you do this like before you inseminate it. because what happened the first time with us, we uh, inseminated. And do you gotta get up? Yes. Oh, it's not. She needs help with everything, y'all. Uh, <sighs> all right. So what we did wrong the first. Why is he four now? So what we did wrong the first time was we uh we inseminated but we didn't have her ass elevated. Mm -hmm. So when we tried to elevate, it was her elevated ass, something like that, but not but enough. not to where like my my butt was like this instead yeah. of like this. Yeah, like I was so, more like this. But when we what we needed was me to be like this. Yeah. So when we tried to make sure she was elevated properly, some of the specimen came out. Yeah. So when I told my donor about it, he said, "Nah, she got to be up more because she yeah. shouldn't be losing no donation." Right. And that's how we got pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the second, the second, the day. second donation. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, the second. Donation. You also want to have whoever is donating to y'all try to sustain, sustain from 
having an orgasm so he can yeah. give y'all a bigger donation. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's about it, y'all. That's how we got pregnant. Yep. Show the belly, baby. Show the belly. She got a little, I little got support my thing support going on going because on. she's so small yeah. that she needs a little help mm -hmm. supporting it. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Five months now, y'all. Five, Five months. months. Five and a half. We're almost six. Ooh. Big old thing. <laughs> he kicks, guy. He be yeah. moving. He likes it in there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. That's how we got for you guys. That's how we did it step by step. Yeah. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. Follow Hit that us notification on our bell so every time every time we upload something, you'll get a notification yeah. for it. That's all we get. Yeah. For now. Peace out. Bye. Thanks for watching.